<laughs> Couple goals. <laughs> Jason talked about quality over quantity when it comes to exercise and today I want to talk about how that same con concept can be applied to nutrition. If you're looking to lose weight there's no question that the quantity of food or the amount of food that you eat is going to be important but it's actually not the first place that I start when I'm working with nutrition clients and the reason for that is because I like to focus on quality first. When it comes to nutrition, I want to make it really clear that not all calories are created equal. So nobody would argue that 500 calories worth of gummy bears is going to elicit the same response in your body as 500 calories of you know, grilled chicken, vegetables, and rice. Just like you wouldn't argue that 500 squats done like this would elicit the same response in your body as 500 squats like this. So think back to a time that you were a little bit hungry, so you decided to snack on something like Doritos, for example. And you start to eat them, and then you realize that you keep reaching into the bag for more and keep reaching in for more, despite wanting to stop, but you're, you're still hungry. You still feel hungry. And the reason you still feel hungry and the reason you haven't stopped eating them yet is because your body hasn't sensed that you've given it any nutrients, because Doritos don't have any nutrients for your body. So your, bo your body won't signal to your brain that it's full. Um, it won't send hormones such as leptin, which are actually your fullness hormones to your brain so you'll just keep eating keep eating you never really feel satisfied or feel full or like you need to stop however imagine if you replace that bag of Doritos with grilled chicken and broccoli you can imagine that after a few bites or after a little while you're just gonna feel satisfied you've never probably eaten chicken and broccoli and been like oh my god I can't stop eating this chicken and broccoli there's a point where you feel satisfied you feel full and your brain tells you to stop and that's because those foods have nutrients and so they send those signals get sent to your brain that you're full that you can stop eating and that you're you're good to go understanding this will make you realize that calorie control will actually be easier once you start eating better foods because your body will naturally start to send those fullness signals to your brain and you won't have to worry so much about stopping yourself from eating because your brain and your body will naturally do that for you based on your physiology so even though low calorie snacks like rice cakes or pretzels might seem like the better choice when you're starting to try to lose weight, they're actually going to make it a lot harder for you in the long run. So food quantity does matter. It does matter how many calories you get in. But what's more important is starting with the things that are going to have the biggest bang for your buck or the biggest uh, impact on your, on your diet and on your lifestyle. And so I think, and what I have seen work with most of the people I work with, is that Understanding nutrient quality and understanding what types of foods to be eating is the first step and then we can start to talk about quantity and how to manipulate that in the future. So